All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Yamaha 4C soprano saxophone mouthpiece. So let's open this thing up and see what we got. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, the Yamaha 4C. And as you can see here, it did not come with a ligature. Aye! Okay, so here I have my own mouthpiece protector here. This is the Selmer mouthpiece and teeth saver. I've only seen these at brick and mortar music stores. I have not seen these online. These are my favorite ones to use. So uh, I'm gonna use this one on this mouthpiece. So let's turn this thing over. Let's take a look at some of the specs here. These rails are actually on the large side for a soprano sax mouthpiece. They look very flat. This table looks flat. We got a rounded chin area there. This tip looks even and flat. Does look to be slightly different from the right side than it does on the left side. I have had a chance to play through this mouthpiece. It is a fantastic mouthpiece. I'm very impressed with it. And in all honesty, if I had to do it again, I'd probably get the 5C. However, I bought this at a brick and mortar music store. And had I tried it, I would have bought the 4C anyway. And I'll probably just wind up getting a 5C. And just depending on how my reads want to act, that will determine which mouthpiece I use. So for today, I'm going to be using this BG ligature here. Okay. Let's take a look at this from the inside. You can see we have something of a horseshoe shape there. Let's take a look at the baffle here. There does seem to be a tiny little forehead that's there. I am writing a book, so I like to use face terms because that translates into other languages very well. So I call this a chin, I call this a forehead that's right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I have something very special planned for my review of this mouthpiece, which I'm going to tell you right now, I am already very, very impressed. I wish it came with a ligature and a cap. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do my recap of this mouthpiece right now instead of at the end of this video. But like I said, I am really happy with this mouthpiece. I bought this at a brick and mortar music store and I paid a lot more money for it than what you can find this on Amazon. I'm not even going to tell you how much I paid for it, but you can pick this up on Amazon for right around $30. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I already know if you're going to record outside, get yourself a dead cat. Oh, come on, man. That's my final recap of this. So enjoy this video. Thanks. All right, I have access to this place for a little bit, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm gonna try and do as much as I can. So let's see what it sounds like in this place.
I was a little kid, I always wanted to go here, but it wound up closing down and I never got to go here. So let's see what it is now.